Okay, guys, we're going to start uh, talking about trigonometric equations, okay, um, which are pretty much like solving any other algebraic equations, except that sometimes we have infinite numbers of answers, sometimes we don't. So we'll look at uh, just a real basic one here first. Cosine theta is one half. Okay, so um, the first thing we need to do to solve this thing is we want to get rid of that cosine. So we are going to arc cosine both sides of this equation. Okay, so we're going to get theta equals arc cosine one half. So then we're going to go to our table and we look up what is the arc cosine of one half, and we get theta is pi over three, and theta could also be five pi over three. Now, one of the things we got to be careful of is this equation did not give us any restrictions. So since we know that uh, cosine, if we graph it, looks like this, it has an infinite number of answers to this thing. If we go, okay, here's, uh, here's one half. It's got an answer here, an answer here, an answer here, an answer here, an answer here. Okay, so we need to get all those answers. So we think about what's the period of cosine? The period of cosine is 2 pi, so we can take this answer, we can add 2 pi, and we can do that over and over again, so we're going to put a k on there, and we do the same thing for 5 pi over 3, we add 2 pi k, and then we can say where k is an integer. And we're good to go. There's our answer, that's got all the answers that there is that exist, okay? and we can move on to the next thing. Okay.